What's up, YouTube? This is going to be your full breeding guide for Pokemon Scala and Viola. So first things first here, to start this guide off, we want to get a couple of items from the Deli Bird Present Shop. So that is located in Mesagoza West. So we're going to be looking at getting the Destiny Knot and the Everstone, which are very important items for breeding. So you want to go into the battle items here, and down the bottom you have a Destiny Knot for 20,000. You want to go ahead and get one of them, because that is the item that is going to be part the stats along from your Ditto or other Pokemon. Then you want to go into the other section there and grab the Everstone, and you've got one of each item. Then you want to get yourself into a Ditto raid there, or a raid by yourself, and you want to go ahead and catch a Ditto with some decent IVs. You probably want something at least is three to four IVs, and then work from there chaining up the IVs. I managed to get one that was five IVs, which was pretty nice. And what you want to do if you are on the raid, the actually host has the magic up at the uh, first Pokemon and that'll transform into that so it's a really easy KO and then I went ahead and got me a nice 4 IV here for this video. Then we want to go to Mesagoza West and we want to get some ingredients because we're going to be making some sandwiches so I just went ahead into these shops and bought like a bunch of different ingredients and we're going to be using these recipes to increase the actual power of uh, obtaining the eggs which I'll show in a second. Now this will be a full-on video how to go ahead and get different balls different breeding moves things like that and how you go about that so maybe you want to watch the whole thing before you start doing it so now we're going to go into the shop over here and we want to talk to the dude in the white shirt and he's going to actually unlock some of the uh sandwich recipes so you definitely want to be doing this because this is how you get the higher level ones like the level two onwards um i'll explain that in a sec and just uh, show you all this right here so just talk to him again after the first time and the screen will go white and you'll get some extra sort of uh, recipes there who say uh, this little spiel here and then after this you can even do more but this will unlock the master level sandwiches which is exactly what you need to have there uh, so you got the five herbie recipes you can do yourself but this is all you really need so now what you want to do is you want to put the everstone on the Pokemon with the nature you want so I want to add them at nature a uh, quaxly there and then you want to put the destiny on on the ditto because that's going to be passing the stats over there so it's going to randomly roll those stats so now next thing we want to do is we want to go uh pokemon picnic so have your two pokemon there i've got the in your party the ditto and the quaxley and then you want to head over to the little uh table here now when you click on the basket that's how you get eggs out and also with the ot's if you've got two different ot's that's going to get the eggs a lot faster but if you don't have that it's not the end of the world it still works it's just a little bit slow getting pokemon out the basket now, what you want to do now, since we got the picnic going, we want to make a sandwich. Now, sandwiches do a lot of things in this game, and we're going to be making a certain recipe here. This one's really, really easy to do. It's probably like the fastest way. So we've got a great peanut butter sandwiches. Only requires those ingredients there, and it gives an egg power of level two. What does that mean? You get the eggs at level two, and it's fairly quick. So just go ahead and make your sandwich. I mean, I've done a few of these already. I don't think it really matters how good the sandwich is, really it can be absolutely terrible but uh yeah i just put the banana on here and yeah just you know, whack that banana on or whatever recipe you want there but i don't believe it really matters too much whether it's level three or level two like i just went with level two one i feel like you get your eggs that fast anyway it doesn't really matter so anyway i uh, put the bread on top of the roll and you've got that going there and you actually can see what sort of uh time limit you've got on these uh powers as well by bringing that which i'll show in a sec now you can get like lots of eggs in your basket at once it's like 10 at once but then they'll, they'll start going into your like the actual boxes as well so once you've got enough of them you can start looking at your pokemon all right so we've made our little sandwich here and obviously you eat your sandwich very interesting animation there by the way i'm not sure what they'll think here and then you're going to get your little powers which is pretty cool but uh interesting way of actually passing uh on the ivs and breeding during like the picnics and stuff like that so we've got a three star great peanut butter sandwich that's all you want and now you can see the effects so we've got an egg power level two, which is awesome. I'm not really worried about the other one. So now all you got to do is go to the basket and you just wait. You don't actually have to do anything there. You just wait inside the uh, picnic and grab your eggs out. Now, once you've grabbed as many eggs as you want to grab out there, um, you can do that. Now, also, this works in multiplayer too. Um, obviously, it's dependent on what Pokemon are in your uh, friend's slots being the first couple. So you can get different eggs. Like we were doing the starters here, getting different eggs. And all dependents who's hosting it too, because they'll be the Pokemon, say, they host puts the 
ditto in the basket, and uh, you are the Pokemon joiner. So that's how the IVs work then. So once you got your, uh, you've got your eggs here, you're gonna need a Flame Body Pokemon. I'm just using Talon Flame here. It's what I pretty much always use every gen. And uh, you just put your eggs in there, so you can put uh, obviously five into your party at once. But if you've got some other ones, I'm sure you will. You have lots of eggs. You can easy fill up an entire box really quickly. So now we just want to go on top of our um, Riding Pokemon and go around, and they'll start hatching very, very quickly. Like they hatch in like a minute or so for me, and it's extremely fast. So you want to hatch your very first Pokemon here, and there you go. There's your Pokemon. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna try and chain up the uh, best IVs. As you can see here on the right, I've got four best on this one. So that's pretty nice. Is that got like all, nearly all of the IVs from the Ditto there, or a bunch of them. Now you want to be trying to get a five IV here. That's what we're gonna go for in this video, and it can take a little bit of time, but it's reasonably quick. So I'm just going to get rid of all the other Quaxes that were no good there. As you can see, these ones were not best. So you want to go for those best. That's a 31 IV. So we're just going to release those ones there. It was actually pretty good. Sometimes you may not get a four at the start. If you've got a lower ditto, you might get like a one best or two best. So just take the best best and then put that one back with a ditto and then keep chaining up till you get better ones and better ones until you get to like, you know, a four IV, which what I got. And then you want to try and go for the five IV, which can take a little bit. I... I really didn't have too much trouble doing this. It was pretty quick. So once again there, we're going to keep going through here and having a look. Some of these uh, were pretty good. Like some of them were kind of bad there. So I kept getting fours when I already had a four. So that does happen. It can happen at the start. And see, we've got like a really good base of Pokemon up there. So finally here, we uh, went through the Quaxleys and I got a nice five IV there. So everything in... Uh, Everything in all my stats except special attack. So I'm going for an adamant nature, physical Quaxley. And uh, yeah, that's it. So another thing here you want to have is egg moves too. Now, egg moves are really cool because you can actually use different species. So uh, Glimora is in the mineral and Zoroark is in the field. So I'm actually, normally you can't breed them. But if you have a mirror herb from the Cassifara... Um, Deli Bird place. You can buy that for 30000 You can attach that to the Pokemon that you want to give the egg move to and then you can just start off a picnic and uh, when you start the picnic up, if you've got a spare move slot there, the Zoro will actually get the breeding move Memento, which I actually got from the Gliomora, which is really, really cool. So just get that item and get yourself a egg move there. See how it's got Memento? It didn't have that before. So a great little feature there, um, actually uh, putting the Pokemon together in the picnic and using that item. So ball pump Passing down, I know a lot of people always ask this question. Uh, this is just a little table up here I thought I'd put on here that uh, you can read through yourself. So pretty much to sum this up, male and female of the same species have a 50-50 chance to uh, pass along whatever Pokeball it is. If it's two Great Balls, it's always going to be a Great Ball. If it's a Great Ball and a Pokeball, it's going to be a 50-50 chance then. Uh, male and female of different species, the female Pokeball is uh, obviously going to be passed down there. And anything with a Ditto is a Pokeball. And Master Balls and Cherish Balls are all uh, Pokeballs. So that's pretty much how it works for the uh, uh, passing down certain Pokeballs and things like that. Because I know some people like to have different balls. So yeah, just experiment with that one. And uh, usually most of the time you can get most things there. Just like Remember, like, you can't do Master Balls and Cherish Balls. They're, like, very special balls. And they just get auto-turned into a Poker Ball. Now, the next thing you probably want to know as well is what about abilities? So, in this generation now, all you need is Ability Capture and Ability Patch. You get these from, uh, like, High Star Rays. They're a rarer drop. So, these now work differently. So, obviously, Ability Capture changes the other standard ability around. So, you can go back and forth. Now, what you can do, if you've got a Hidden Ability Pokemon, you can actually get rid of that by using the uh, ability patch and then you basically you can just go around in a circle so you can pick whatever ability you like if you've got both of these items so very nice uh, way of doing that say if you get an egg and a Pokemon that doesn't get it well you can just use uh, the ability whatever you need capsule or patch now last thing here in Monteneuve you want to actually know about say if you've got a Pokemon that you don't want to breed up or you can't really give it any better IVs you got to this uh, dude here the hyper training guy if you're level 50 and you've got some Bottle caps from raids as well. You can actually uh, give nice IVs to your Pokemon. For example, here I've got this um, 
I've got this Pokemon. It doesn't have any best at all. So we're going to actually max out its special attack and speed. That means these stats are going to become best. Now, another little thing too. If you bottle cap a Pokemon, that doesn't mean you can pass those IVs on during a breeding. Uh, it doesn't work that way. You need to... Um, obviously, this is only for if you catch a Pokemon in the wild and you just want to quickly max it, you know. Or you've got a Shiny and stuff like that you got, but it's got terrible IVs. This is another good way to do that. Also, if you hyper train a Pokemon with bottle caps, it'll actually say hyper trained on these stats as well but that's pretty much it peace out